Hello guys, I'm back for another video. Today's topic is how or why inverter machine shutting off automatically. I have here, this 200 amperes inverter welding machine. The problem is, it automatically shut off upon clicking the power on. And this one is my past welding machine. We can use our broken inverter to get some good parts that we can use to restore this unit or your own unit. I'm checking all the components without multi-tester by using your senses, seeing and smelling, any deformities is sign of broken component, black is a sign of burned part, and you can also smell the burned components, but here, I can tell what is the broken component, so I decided to remove the board from the chassis, so that I can check much closer. Disconnect the wires and unscrew the board from its casing. Before touching any parts, discharge the cylindrical capacitor first, to avoid get electrocuted. No black mark of burned part. That is why I clear up the dust, using this paint brush. Here I noticed this blow cap capacitor that touches the heat sink, and this yellow transformer. It is quite smelling like burn. Let's see if we can have some part in my broken board of my past welding machine. This one is fit to replace the broken transformer. And this one also will fit the blue cap.
Here I encounter some difficulties. The part is bigger than the original. So I decided to bend down the heat sink to make it fit. Perfect. Now it's ready to put in. Done. Now, it's ready for testing.
Well done! It works, guys! Thank you for reaching this part of this video. Please don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video. And please don't forget to click the subscribe button below. And hit in the bell icon to get notified for more upcoming uploads. Thank you, see you on my next video.